Hi, this video is about mapping smallholder farms. The topic is linked to SDG 2, Zero Hunger, and in particular to Target 2.3, which aims to double the agricultural productivity and incomes of small-scale food producers by 2030. In Sub-Saharan Africa, agriculture is dominated by smallholder farms, which cultivate more than 80% of the cropland, with an estimated 51 million farms predominantly characterized by rain-fed production for household consumption. These communities are highly vulnerable to hunger. Most of them live in poverty in areas prone to natural hazards, where climate change is increasing the frequency of climate-related disasters, creating greater risks of hunger. The large population growth in sub-Saharan Africa urgently requires increased production, resilience to natural disasters, improvements in financial services, and the governance of food production systems. In other parts of the world, smallholder farms, farmers face similar problems. Improving food security is a challenge, partly due to the lack of geospatial information about these agricultural systems. One information gap is the lack of reliable and updated geospatial data on the agricultural field boundaries, which are essential for enabling digital agricultural services and guiding interventions and invest investments to boost productivity. From a technical point of view, delineating agricultural fields in smaller farms is difficult because fields are small, most farms are between 0.2 to 2 hectares, irregularly shaped, and have indistinct boundaries. Standard edge or contour detection methods typically fail to extract accurate field boundaries in these conditions. Below, you see a sample of a panchromatic and a multispectral image with corresponding reference boundaries. You can observe that field boundaries are not clearly visible, Often, they are associated with the transition between different textural patterns. These are the types of spatial features that can be well captured by convolutional neural networks. For this reason, a few years ago, we designed a deep learning approach to delineate field boundaries. The first step of this workflow consists of a binary classification where pixels are classified as either boundary or not. For this task, we adopted SegMet, a convolutional neural network designed for semantic segmentation. The obtained results were surprisingly good, showing the ability of the network to learn textural patterns and extract the relevant boundaries while discarding irrelevant contours, such as those of trees and edges within the fields. Nevertheless, there were still problems. Can you spot them? The obtained boundaries were often incomplete and fragmented. To address the problem, we resorted to a, technical, to a technique named oriented watershed transform, which allowed us to derive a hier hierarchical segmentation, also called ultrametric contour map. The colors of the contours in the figure with the, with the blue background refer to the strength of the boundaries. Finally, we adopted a method called single-scale combinatorial grouping, which scans the entire UCM hierarchy and automatically selects the optimal scale to obtain field segments. If you are interested in learning the details of the method, please look at the paper reported at the bottom of the slide. We carried out an experimental analysis comparing the proposed approach against several baseline methods. We adopted a worldview image acquired over the agricultural area around the city of Kofa in Nigeria. Reference boundaries have been collected in the field and used for training and testing our method. The agricultural fields in this area are small, and most of them are cultivated using multi-crop system. The figure 
shows a false color composite of the satellite image over the study area and the distribution of training and test tiles. Here in this slide, you can visually appreciate the obtained results on the three test tiles. The first row shows the segmentation results obtained by segment. The second row uh, shows the obtained ultrametric contour maps. And finally, the third row shows the obtained field segments. The results obtained in the study were very promising. However, they were obtained using very high spatial resolution satellite images, which are typically expensive data acquired by commercial companies. Therefore, we wanted to use Sentinel-2 data instead, which, thanks to the open data policy, can be freely used for large-scale applications. However, the spatial resolution of 10 meters makes it difficult to delineate small fields. And a master student, Kairia Masut, a few years ago, designed a super-resolution semantic contour detector to delineate the field boundaries at a higher spatial resolution. She designed a fully convolutional network with a transpose convolutional layer to enhance the spatial resolution from 10 meter to 5 meter. This is a promising research direction that deserves further investigation. Um, another challenge in, in field boundary delineation is the limited availability of training data, training labels. To address this problem, we have recently developed a benchmark data set with almost half a million field polygons divided into 62 tiles of approximately 5 by 5 kilometers distributed across Vietnam and Cambodia, covering a range of fields and diverse landscape types. The field polygons have been meticulously digitized from satellite images following a rigorous multi-step quality control process and topological consistency checks. Multi-temporal composites of Sentinel-2 images are also provided to ensure cloud-free data. This work was carried out in collaboration with the Image Analysis and Data Fusion Technical Committee and with the financial support of FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, and the GSP Geoscience and Remote Sensing Society, GRSS. We conducted an experimental analysis testing state-of-the-art deep learning uh, workflow based on fully convolutional networks, FCNs, contour closing, and polygonization. The diagram in the slide shows the adopted workflow. To assess the accuracy of the obtained boundaries, boundaries we use both raster and vector-based metrics. Okay, despite recent advance, advancements in technology and, and, and different methods, there are still several challenges to be addressed. First of all, the spatial resolution of Sentinel-2 images is still a limitation which super-resolution methods could address in future studies. The extraction of topologically consistent polygons is a challenging problem overlooked by most studies, which focus on delineating the boundaries according to a raster map instead of a polygon format, as it is generally required by geographic information systems. Moreover, the processing chain should be streamlined for example, by designing end-to-end -end deep learning models. And finally, more effort should be devoted to designing effective procedures to update field polygons periodically and automatically over the year. This would help to significantly reduce cost and time in keeping agricultural information accurate and updated. This is all for now. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next video.